Scott from Aristocob.com. I'm Seth from MarkwoodAdventures.com. And together we're Markwood Men's Breakfast Club, and welcome again to day five yeah. of Tobacco, tobacco Advent. Advent. Uh, Thursday. Yeah. Thursday, December. It's been a good week so far. Uh, first order of business, I wanted to, to talk about Andrew Ingersoll's, uh, the Sutliff that he sent. What is that? Edgeworth Ready Rubbing Match. Rubbed. Rubbed. Rubbing. Rubbed match. I can't read. So it was a match for the right. old Edgeworth Ready Rub uh, yeah. tobacco. A mimic, a clone, if you will. Um, I had a little bit of a hard time. My pipe got jammed. Um, having gotten to enjoy a pipe, I love it. Um, that was really good. It's a... Uh, it feels, it feels like it should be a, a heavier smoke, but it's actually um, pretty light. Um, so it, it almost has right. a flavor. Like, like when smoking a cigar, you can get a full body, mm -hmm. you know, a, a decent yeah. smoke yeah. without it being um, a, a strong smoke. And I think yeah. like that's what you get from that. It was producing some decent smoke that wasn't too heavy. Yeah, and, and it had, it had the, the kind of darker, heavier flavor that I would expect, um, or that I, I like, um, but it felt just lighter. Um, I saw my dad, if I had the opportunity to smoke um, every day, aside from uh, this special occasion, um, I think that could be an everyday smoke for me. Uh, I enjoyed that. And, um, I, mean, I think that's, what it, was, to rotation that's what it was originally designed for. You know, that is, that is an everyday smoke that's not, you know, so many tobaccos now are kind of almost like dessert tobaccos and not something Designer that, tobacco. Well, not something I would want to smoke every single day. Yeah. You just kind of want to go back to the basics, something that's not, you know, you know crazy flavored and yeah. that just, that was just a good tobacco. Yeah, something for just, that would be a good like mowing the lawn yeah. kind of smoke. That's good. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank so, you, Andrew. We're going to move on. Uh, Number four is back up on the tree. We're going to go for day five. Almost to the point where I can be lazy <laughs> and not get up off my chair. Um, I am sporting my, uh, this is my smoker, smoking jacket. I bought this several years ago with the intent of using this in the shop as a smoking jacket. Yeah. You know, the whole idea of covering your clothing so that you don't smell like smoke goes back many, many years. And I tried to find a jacket that I could wear that was comfortable in the shop. Um, and I kind of abandoned the idea because in North Carolina, the temperature from one day to the other, you get extremes. Yeah. And uh, But it's back on today. I feel like I, I should be out in the Everglades or someplace. Okay. Just saying. All right, there's the cornament for the f person who sent this tobacco. You should, uh, you should catch those when I hand them to you, boy. You should drop them when you're handing them to me. I think that I have accomplished Did what I set out to do. Please. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, I know this one. I recognize it. Okay. Oh, yes. Uh, that's got a cool... The first yeah. thing I noticed, <laughs> it has a cool color. Yes, it does. Patterns. Uh, dark and light. This is from Mike Miller. Duke uh, Avon. Another one from Mike. Another one from Mike. Thank you again, Mike. Um, Hearth and Home Magnum Opus. Opus. Uh, a great song by the Four Seasons. Uh, Richard Dreyfus. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Magnum Opus. The Latin term Magnum Opus loosely translates to masterpiece. Um, and this is... That's, wow. that's pretty... That's a pretty high stamp to put on. Yeah. On anything. I mean, well, it's a target, know. right? It's like. I mean, yeah. Smoke I guess. this and be amazed. Yeah. I, I don't know that. I don't know. That I can think of any you know classic artist, uh, Da Vinci, Leonardo, Michelangelo, or the other Ninja Turtles, mm -hmm. Ninja Turtle, that said uh, this one right here. This is it. I'm, yeah. I'm done. No yeah, eyebrows on this one. It's perfect. Man, yeah. That's, I'm excited. All right, so here, let me finish this. All right, please. Um, it says, uh, it translates in the masterpiece, and this is how we and our early testers think of this new release. So the early testers and the blenders thought, this is a masterpiece. In fact, after this, Hearth and Home stopped producing new blends. They said, we're done. Really? No. No. <laughs> hey, it sounds like they're just tooting their own horn a little bit. Magnum Opus is a blend of... 
Um, what is that? What is that mean, word? If you, if here's, you, here's my... Uh, Caprian? Is that Caprian? Looks like it. I don't know that I've ever seen the word Caprian. Um, a Caprian Latakia. Oh, I, was I looking forward to this? <laughs> Excellent yellow Virginias from the U.S. and Bulgaria. Um, Ismer, Bosma, and the queen of the tobaccos, Yenidij. Yen, Yenidij. Okay. Um, then we added some Perique to give it more depth and smoothness. Now, I think I already mentioned how much I love Latakias and Periques. Yeah, stop being prejudgmental. <laughs> this is a masterpiece. All right. You will shut your face, smoke it, and love it. All right. I have high expectation. Uh, hold on. i got to, you know, a little bit of that. Cleanse my palate. My cold-ridden palate. Uh, I'm gonna shake that thing. I hope so. All right, it's got a ribbon cut to it. Bigger ribbon than than what we had uh, a couple days ago, where you struggled with it a little bit, didn't you? I forget which one that it, was. It um it was the Coach House from Kevin Poe. It um it was finely cut ribbon, and some of it ended up getting stuck down to the stem. And it caused me problems that day and then uh, yesterday, too. Um, Continued to be a problem. Mm hmm. All right, here we go. I'm not a Latakia or a Perique fan. It's just the way it is. Not for lack of trying. It is Latakia, -y, if not Pariki. Now, do you know the difference between no. Latakia and Pariki? No, so tell me. <clears throat> All right, Latakia tobaccos, for one thing, are um, they're dried in a barn that has something burning in it. Okay. So if you open up tobacco and it smells like burning leaves, okay. All right, that usually has Latakia in it. Some say Latakia, depends upon what country you're from. Uh, the Latakia is correct if you're from North Carolina. <laughs> um, Perique is a, is a tobacco leaf that is then, after as part of the, the curing process, it's stored in um, wooden casks and it's pressed okay. and it ferments. And it, I was actually at Cornell and Deal one day and they cracked open a cask of uh, Perique and oh my gosh. It was incredibly stanky. Hmm. Smelled smelled like it smelled like a a thrift store uh, Air Jordan. <laughs> well, you know, you know, too. Uh, <laughs> just <laughs> you trying to do something with that? No, <laughs> gonna say in the defense of the people that like it. The <laughs> Hold on. Air Jordans, the, they, they, they maintain their value. Don't they? Enough Lysol and and Febreze. No, um, some of the best steaks in the world have been aged. And That's true. So to open those up, they're rotten meat. But then once you cut that away, the stuff on the inside is supposed to be some of the most delicious, best cut. Which is why I usually I, I cut away from the Latakia and the Perique. It's okay. One of the things you'll pick up from this, it's kind of peppery, it's spicy. Yeah. You get that? And, and like I said, you, you get that smoky, almost pre-smoked smell to it. If it's got the Latakia in it. I don't get that. There's Maybe it's a pepper. There's a flavor that I can't put my finger on. And it's something kind of familiar. And it's not a completely foreign flavor. Um, something maybe I uh, would compare to a food flavor. What'd you have for lunch? Ramen noodles. All right, so we're gonna keep smoking this. I, Wait, hold on. I don't dislike it. Okay, I like it. Uh, oh, but 
You can report back tomorrow morning. How about that? We, we'll just keep smoking it. That's fine. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, thank you uh, for starting your day with us. And uh, join us again tomorrow for day six of yeah. Tobacco Advent. Check out uh, TobaccoAdvent.com. Yeah. Counting down to Christmas. Hope you're doing the same. Okay. And, um, you yeah, know, if you've smoked this, if you've smoked anything with Perique or Latakia, you have an opinion, Go ahead and leave a comment for us. And, uh, and more importantly, tell us, do you agree, is this the masterpiece? Is this the magnum opus of all that you have ever smoked? Or at least all that uh, Harf and Home has ever made? Now, see, that maybe is a good way of putting it. And should they, should they just stop trying? Have they arrived? <laughs> all right, let's know. All right. Have a good day. See you again tomorrow and make it a great day.